What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over the exception in server tick loop error. While working on your Minecraft server, unexpected errors can happen that trigger an entire crash. There are a ton of different types, with one being exception in server tick loop. Troubleshooting this particular issue can be challenging for server owners since it doesn't reveal too much information. Reading your crash report amplifies the situation since there are a ton of technical details, so let's go over how you can fix this error and get back to playing. When loading any Minecraft server, it uses ticks to perform operations. In some cases, there can be problems that cause everything to shut down. And since there are so many unique setups, pinpointing a direct cause is pretty difficult. However, the majority of cases that trigger this crash can be narrowed down to one issue. Editing the JSON files is the number one cause for the error. These configs typically determine which players are banned, opt, whitelisted, and more. Manually altering the files can make them invalid or corrupted, resulting in a server-wide crash. Reviewing the report from your Minecraft server reveals mentions of the JSON errors, but not specific files in most situations. Other causes might include mods, in-game ticks, or other triggers, which require more troubleshooting. You can always contact our 24-7 support team for assistance to resolve the error, but let's go over something you can try. If you've recently edited a JSON file on your Minecraft server and encountered an issue, then you can consider regenerating the document. However, deleting all of these JSON files is another solution if you're unsure about which one is causing the crash. Head towards your Apex server panel and click FTP file access near the top left. Log in and then check mark banned IPS, banned players, ops, user cache, and whitelist. Delete all of them at the top and then click submit and then return to the main panel and restart the server to regenerate all of the files. Now, before we go over some frequently asked questions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. Where can I review my Minecraft server crash reports? You're able to find all of the reports in the crash reports directory inside of your FTP panel. Do I lose my data after deleting the JSON files? Yes, but you are able to download the files first to start fixing it if you want. Make sure to make note of any banned, opt, or whitelisted players so that you can reinstate them. Are there any ways to prevent this error from happening again? You can avoid manually editing any JSON files and instead use console or in-game commands. For example, using the OP command is better than attempting to do it yourself in the file. Why does deleting the JSON files not fix my issue? In the event that removing the files doesn't help after restarting the server, the cause is likely something else. Reviewing the crash report or console logs can reveal more, and you can always contact our support team to find a solution. Preventing further issues from happening on your Minecraft server involves optimization. Depending on your setup, you can check out our modded or vanilla guides to learn more about this topic. Whether you install mods, plugins, or edit config files, it should help avoid any server crashes from the exception in server tick loop error, and you'll be back to playing in no time. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.